Today on JD Cars, we're gonna see just how virtually indestructible this Arctic Zone Titan Deep Freeze Cooler is by running it over with our Jeep Wrangler. So many of you may have seen Kalen and I reviewing this cooler. We did a first little test taking it to school with some food and drinks in it and it did a great job. We've put it to the test at the beach, out on the boat, etc. And it's been a great cooler. And one of the things that shocked us when we first unboxed this cooler was that it's Grizzly Bear certified. So Grizzly Bears can't get into it if it's locked, I believe. And it's also claimed to be virtually indestructible. So we're gonna be putting that to the test today. I wanna see just how much weight it can handle. And I figured what better way than driving our Jeep Wrangler, Gunner the Gray Jeep, over the cooler before we sell it. So I'm not quite sure what these loading ramps are rated for. Hopefully it's enough for one corner of our Jeep. But we have some loading ramps with aluminum and padded ends. So without any further ado, I'm gonna grab my little brother Teddy. He's gonna help us out filming this and uh, Let's see what happens. All right, so we have our cooler and our ramp set up. I have the sway bar, quick disconnects, disconnected on the Jeep, which should allow it to flex a little bit more. And I just did a quick Google search. The stock Jeep Wrangler Unlimited is about 4,000 to 4,500 pounds with all of our aftermarket upgrades we're probably looking somewhere around 5,000 pounds. So a quarter of that is about 1,250 pounds. See if the Arctic Zone cooler is up to the task. No! Well, slight miscalculation on <laughs> the capacity of our loading ramp here. I think I'm probably gonna take this other ramp, bring it over here and double them up, and maybe that'll work. So, don't really know if we're gonna make it up on here or if I'm just gonna have two broken loading ramps, but we're gonna give it another shot. Well, we can try again here. The board didn't actually break this time, it was just the mount. Looks like I owe my dad some new loading ramps after this. Oh, oh God. Oh, baby. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my god! I didn't think it would f***ing work. <laughs> Holy camole! Well, it's on there. <laughs> um, I didn't really expect, I mean, I kind of expected this to work, but wow. Come in and take a look at this. The, the top of the cooler is severely caving in right now. I'm gonna be very impressed if this door still opens without any problems. Yeah, so we have some curving of the lid. The lid is definitely dipped in where the tire is, probably an inch or two, but the cooler is holding it. So Teddy and I just grabbed our photos and while we were doing that, this dropped in like probably another inch at least. It's like severely caved in. So if this hinge right here is still okay and the door opens and it still seals up, I will be amazed. I, I don't have very high hopes for the cooler at this point, but we're gonna try pulling it off and see if it still works. This is sketchy. Gosh. Oh man, that's a little rough. See, 
see if it's still open. Alright, so the top is definitely bent in a little. But it still feels like it seals up alright. And furthermore, I thought this hinge was going to be done for. It's completely fine. Um, I'm not really sure if this dent is going to come back out. I don't really know. Probably going to leave it in the sun and hope that the sun kind of brings it back. But in terms of it being a functional cooler, it's still open and close the lid just fine. It still closes up just fine. And it looks like we have a good solid seal all around. So might have a little dent in the top from now on. Something to remember the Jeep by. But I'm honestly really impressed. Rest in peace Jeep 2021. I'll have to update you guys. I'll let you know how this thing still works as a cooler, if the dent comes out of it, and uh, what else we can put this thing through. If you enjoyed this video, please go leave a like down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on JD Cars.